Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Tiana. Um, if you're here joining me for the first time, welcome. Maniology is much more than a nail company. We believe that nail art is a creative journey and we want to empower you and your self-expression one manicure at a time. So if you love maniology and you love our lives, please tell all your friends about us and uh, we would love to continue to create um, and grow our community of supportive and creative people just like you. So today what I'm going to be talking about is cuticle care when it comes to stamping and more so how you can um, protect your cuticles and your skin when you stamp. Um, this kind of um, these products kind of apply outside of stamping too and I'll go into a little bit more of that but um, basically these three tools I'm going to show you today is just really going to help to make the process a lot easier when it comes to taking off your stamp design and then also the cleanup. So this first product right here this is poly peel. You know this was our very first product that was latex based and it was our first cuticle protector that we came out with that allowed you to basically paint onto your skin and take off, you know, excess paint. And that was it. So the uses for all of these products, um, kind of like what I said in the very beginning, is that you can use it for when you're painting your nails. So say, for instance, if you're not very good at kind of painting in the lines, some people are, some people aren't, that's completely okay. And um, when you're doing nail stamping for sure, you know, sometimes when you have small nails, and I'm gonna show you today, you see how tiny my, my nail beds are. Um, some of these designs that are on the plate really kind of go outside of, you know, that nail, nail bed. So putting a product like this really helps to protect the skin. Uh, say for instance, if you're doing a uh, water marbling or if you're doing like a smudge -a cure or something like that something like this or the other products i'm going to show you will really help so that's kind of what it's used for let me see what can you expect with this product the poly peel um it's so satisfying to remove it it like comes off like butter and it snaps like a rubber band I do have to say though, if you're really sensitive to smells, this is probably not the product for you. Um, it's very pungent, especially when it's wet and when the bottle is open when you're using it, but after you cap it, it's fine. Um, and I wouldn't recommend that uh, you use this, say for example, if um, you have like a fan pointed at you because this is latex based and it dries really quickly. so. Um, you actually might mess up the product in here so um, but well ventilated enough um, area is probably best if you're going to use this um, once the product is dry the smell doesn't smell anymore um, and the dry time is pretty I would consider it pretty instant um, if you put like a thin layer it'll dry in about a minute and this is a really good question and I'm gonna address it right now. When you use it, I accidentally stick my fingers together. How can you avoid that? Um, what I would probably recommend is if that happens to be the case, if it's sticking together, getting like a small scissors to actually cut it, either that or repainting on the part that's coming undone. That's the only way. Um, or taking it off and redoing it all over again. <laughs> so there's that. Um, the consistency of this is very liquidy, it's milky, and um, very vibrant in color. So you'll see it when I put it on my skin that it comes out very pink like this. Okay, so that's the poly peel. The next product I'm going to show you is called Manny Mask. So the Manny Mask is a very similar product. The only difference is the formula. The formula of this one is a non-latex. So for people who have allergies to latex, this is the product for you. Um, clearly we came out with a cuticle protector product specifically for that. Um, the smell is definitely not pungent like the, the latex formula. And um, 
I don't know. If you guys have this product, let me know. I couldn't find a way to describe what this exactly smells like, but um, it's pleasant, really pleasant. And it's not like alcoholy, kind of like regular polishes are, or perfumey or flowery or anything like that. It's actually really nice. Um, so, you know, if, uh, again, smell is a thing, this one smells really nice. And the consistency of this, when you take this off of your skin, it comes off a little bit more like plastic. So I don't know if you remember when you were in school, I was that kid that loved to put Elmer's glue on their hands and um, wait for it to dry so I could peel it off of my skin. Um, that's pretty much the consistency of what the Manny mask is like. And that's what you can expect um, with just like a really thin layer. Uh, if you say for instance do two coats of this um it would just come up a little bit thicker there is a slight stretch to it but not very much and the consistency of the the color and stuff it's very milky looking through the bottle but it's very thin um the color is not very opaque when you paint it onto the nail you may not even see it and um yeah so maybe sometimes Maybe people like to do a thicker coat, but that means it's also going to dry longer. Speaking of dry time, this can take about two minutes to dry onto the skin. So a little bit different formula, you know, formula from the latex, but it definitely works. And I will show you that. I would like to say as far as a tip, um, when you're using the Manny Mask, perhaps it would be a good idea to keep either like a orange stick or maybe like a toothpick to kind of carefully lift the um, Manny mask off of the skin. It just kind of helps you to get an edge so you can peel um, the Manny mask off in like one, one swoop. And let's see. Another tip because we have heard this from some people, the drying consistency is a little bit different with Manny masks. So you might find that it kind of like adheres to the skin. Another thing you can try is also putting on your cuticle oil, um, not globbing it on, but just kind of keeping the, the area around the nail very moist. And um, then putting on the Manny mask and then peeling it off. I find that to be kind of a, a really nice tip when using. And the last one I'm going to show you is our nail protector tape. So this is just one version. We actually have one that comes in multicolors. This is another one that came out of our Manny by Me box that we sell online right now. So this product, it comes like this. You get 10 stickers on one sheet. This particular one that I'm opening up actually has three sheets. Um, I believe we have one that is five sheets with different colors. But no matter what the design, the function is still the same. This is a product that is basically like a veil for your nail. I feel like it really helps to keep, um, it's like sits really tightly on the nail. So unlike the previous two products I have talked about this item, um, it, there's no dry time because it's a sticker. And it's definitely a one-time use only but you know, there's no dry time. You can put this on your nail and start stamping, no problem. And um, it definitely takes a little bit to kind of work it around your nail because everybody's nail bed's shape is different. But I'm gonna show you in the demonstration how this works, but um, it's flexible and stretchy so you can uh, maneuver it to fit your nail the way that you need to. And let's see. I don't know if you guys have a preference, if you already have these products and stuff, let me know which one, you know, you love. I won't lie. It'll probably be, you know, my, my personal pick would probably be between these two. Poly peel because it's, you know, the stuff that I've been using for the longest, but um, it really depends on, on you. So let's get started with the demonstration so I can show you the products in use. Let me kick it off with the cuticle protector tape here. 
And the reason for that is, like I said, this one takes a little bit more maneuvering onto the skin. So I'm going to take off this plastic piece right here. So if you have tweezers, you can do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and either use my orange stick to kind of help me lift off an edge. And there you go, just lightly and carefully pull it up. And what I, I like to do is I like to start with the, I guess, um, this cuticle edge right here to kind of measure it out. And I'll stretch it as I do that and basically fit it to my nail just like that. Okay, then I'll kind of fidget with this part here. Just kind of measuring it exactly to where my skin, the nail meets my skin. And I will come as close as I possibly can to this edge of my nail. Okay. Sorry. Let me just kind of flip that back. And carefully kind of put it over there. So same thing. Kind of measure it out. Kind of come in. So it looks like that. It really just hugs your nail really nice and tight. And keep it like that. So you see what I mean? It's like a veil for your nail. I also wanted to show you just for kicks um, what it looks like on my thumb. My thumb is definitely, you know, wider. So just wanted to kind of show you how that works because, you know, by looking at this, the this U shape looks very... Um, narrow so I want to show you how stretchy it can be okay oops these things are really pliable just got to be careful I have messed up a, a few but um, once you get some practice it's not so bad so you can kind of lift it off your skin you know so here you go my nail beds for my thumb are quite square, so I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out. And there you go, kind of line it up with my thumb. And my nails are really, really short right now. They keep breaking on me, they're not really happy right now. But, oops. So when this happens, you just kind of lightly take it off the skin and kind of replace it. Really nice and flexible and forgiving. And if you're wondering why I'm like just sitting it over the nail too, is because, you know, especially when your nail is short like this, um, what happens when you stamp is that when you're going like this and you're pushing, your stamp can hit the top of your nail. So you want to make sure that even over there is protected as well. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. Then I'm gonna do my other nails. This is gonna be fun, because I feel like I will get my nails caught up and stuck together. So right now I'm gonna be putting on the poly peel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a thin layer around. So you see how milky and um, opaque and pink it is? So I just try to stay as close to the nail as possible without getting it onto my nail. And I like to be very generous with the area. Sometimes, you know, your stamp, depending on how big it is, um, you know, it can go a lot further than this, depending on how large the image is. So, you know, if you think that you're going to go to that um, further down the nail, just paint more poly peel. And I'll paint this top part. Just move my nail over so you can really see it. Okay. You can see some of the parts that's already drying. That's how instant it is. So you see how it basically goes from that milky pink to that darker pink color. It's already drying. So that's how instant it is. It's a really, really nice product. But like I said, sensitive to smells, probably not the best product to use. 
And last, I'm going to use the Manny Mask. You definitely want to close your Manny Mask and Poly Peel after you use them because air will cause the product to dry. And you don't want to do that. Okay, let me go ahead and paint the Manny Mask on my pointer finger. Very liquidy, very watery. Anywhere that pulls, um, like if you see a really bright green, it's probably gonna take a little while to um, dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of spread that out so it doesn't take that long. Because out of all three products, this one will definitely take the longest to dry. So there you go. So earlier when I had said about the pigmentation, even though you can see a lot of green in this bottle, you really don't see that onto the nail. Another thing I want to say too, I enjoy stamping with black a lot. Um, it's probably like the number one polish that I stamp with all the time. So, you know, using something like this, especially if you have extremely deep nail beds, um, you know, I always contend with staining and um, it doesn't matter if I, you know, use a lot of acetone. Sometimes it just gets caught into the skin and some areas of my nails might be very, very dry. And, um, you know, something like this will definitely help to avoid that. Okay. So all of them are pretty much ready to stamp over except the Manny Mask. So let me just go and start the process. So right now I'm going to be using plate M005. This is a collaborative plate with Jessica Girl and Her Nails um, that we came out with uh, several years ago. But I just wanted to play around with this plate. I have Winter's Kiss polish that I'm going to use. Let me try. I'm going to try this image right here. So this is a, a nice like blue gray polish that I don't get to wear very often. It's so pretty I couldn't pass it up today. Okay, so pick it up. You can already tell how let's see, big this image is and compared to my actual size of my nail. And where this cuticle tape already comes in handy. Let's get that. Yay. Okay. So there. So I don't know if you can really see, but around here I got paint all the way down here and I got paint all the way over here. So it's good that I used my uh, tape to protect the skin there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of cutting, making sure there's no polish that's like connected to the protector. I don't want it to fly back onto my design. So I just kind of take the orange stick there. Okay. And kind of lightly lift it away. And there you go. And this, I have no cleaning. There you go. So let's go ahead and stamp with something else. Okay, there you go. There's the Manny Mask and it's completely dry now. You see? Okay, let's do this seashell one. And I'm going to use Confetti, which is this gorgeous purple or like a fuchsia. Let's stamp over poly peel. There 
There you go. Okay, so I'm just making sure there's no connecting lines. And this already is peeling up. Look how satisfying that is. Oh, one swoop. Took that off. Oh, I got polish down here. So like I said, don't, I guess don't be afraid to be heavy handed. You know, if, if some of your designs, if your nail is really small and short like mine, and then, you know, the design is really big, or sometimes, you know, you pick up the excess polish and in this case, I didn't isolate the design, it'll probably stamp onto the skin. So if it wasn't for that, I pretty much would have no cleanup though. Okay. So let's go ahead and stamp over the Manny mask. Let's see. Let's try. Hmm. Can try this little mermaid tail. I'm going to use the bigger design so you guys can see. So for the sake of simplicity, I am actually going to isolate and take off that design right there. Just using the back of my card. Okay. And stamp. Oh, I barely got the tail on my nail. It's how short. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to take my orange stick and Get it lightly off. So please don't poke yourself while you're doing this, okay? Mm. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just separating the design for my nail. I forgot to do that. I kind of got a little jumpy in the process. <laughs> Moving on too quickly. Okay. So let me go back to that one area. So see, it's lifting off the skin. So at this point, you don't need the, the stick. You can kind of just use your finger to help guide. And you see how I'm kind of being a little careful because if all of a sudden I'm pulling it off like how I did with the poly peel, I'd be picking this up in pieces. But it would be nicer if it just comes off in one piece. So, And I do want to make a, a little disclaimer too. I do use cuticle oil. Um, the last time I put on was actually maybe about 9 or 10 this morning. Um, and I've definitely wash my hands and put on a whole lot of hand sanitizer. Um, thank you, COVID. <laughs> put on a whole lot of hand sanitizer in between. So I didn't put on any cuticle oil before putting on the Manny mask and that came off really nicely. So there you go. I have that one peely right there. And you know what, since I already did this one, let's stamp the, the thumb. Okay, let's do, let's try this design here. That looks like it would fit my nail. Oh, I wish I had a color underneath that. That design came out really nice. So you see how far the design went onto the sticker there? All the way over here. You see that? Okay, watching so far the demonstration for all three. Do you guys have a vote of which one you like most? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so here you go. Just gonna take it off. Sometimes I notice if like your fingers, if they get a little hot, um, these things can start sliding off. Like that one, I feel like it came off a lot easier and it's because I'm sitting in front of these lights. Um, you know, sometimes your hands get a little hot. 
So there you go. So this is really easy, actually, since it's not really on the skin. Um, I can just do that really quick and just clean up. So I'm just taking acetone here. And there you go. So isn't that so much nicer when you're doing your nails? You're just... Put that on, you're ready to go. All you have to do is just top this with a no smudge top coat and you're done. I mean, who doesn't enjoy something that's instant, right? This, you can go right into stamping, no problem. Um, however, because of the product itself, it does take some maneuvering. It takes some time to kind of line it up to your finger. And again, everybody's nail shape is different, but these do stretch, which is very helpful. You know, unlike these two products here, you can't mess up. You know, you you put the brush with, you know, how, whatever your nail shape looks like. So it makes the process very easy. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them into the comments. I will be checking them and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining today's live. Bye guys.